So I'm Brian Young. I'm the fire chief for the City of Corona Fire Department. I've been here since 2018 and I've been in the fire service for 33 years. So our UAS program started in 2019. Shortly after I arrived at the city, the desire to build the program was brought to me and I was in full support just looking into the future, which is now. Drone programs are an absolute necessity for us to evolve and do our business more efficiently. So as far as mission tasking, it's evolved, right? Initially, we anticipated it being primarily used for wildland fires or lost missing hikers. But really over the last year to two years, we've seen an increased need for it to be utilized in the flooding situations, especially with a growing propensity for homeless populations in riverbed areas. The U.S. platforms have been instrumental in ensuring their life by finding out where they are and more importantly, allowing us to pre-plan and to forecast where those known risks exist in advance of a storm. A great example of that be is recently we knew a large front was gonna come in for several days on end. So as a preemptive plan of operation, we sent the drones out, we used the infrared to find heat signatures of populated homeless encampments, and then we mapped them accordingly so that we knew ahead of time where the highest propensity of life risk was gonna be if those floods came through. Another great example was we had a report of a fire. Um, we knew that there was gonna be some access issues. Uh, we knew the airspace was clear, so we pre-deployed the drone to try to get early eyes on the situation and provide that intel back to the incident commanders, and it was very instrumental. We're fortunate enough here in the city of Corona that we have a very great reputation with those we serve because they see the direct application of us using it. They see us using it to save human life. They see us using it to mitigate emergencies, right? So it's all framed as a really positive situation and they're very supportive. So we started out small scale with all uh, readily deployable maps. Uh, we currently have six of them, and then we have one larger platform, the M300, and that's really upped our game additionally. So us using that matrice to do a multitude of operations is a big, big game changer. The ability for that to navigate in inclement weather versus the Mavics, and then to deliver a payload to somebody in need. A great example would be in a flooding situation, if you had somebody trapped on an island, and um, we could drop a life vest to that person with the matrice. That seven aircraft fleet, we anticipate that continuing to grow um, as the program evolves. We have one aircraft per pilot. They're all 107 trained. They all are incredibly well versed at the operation and even our newest members go through a rigorous training program. Obviously our drone program administrators have worked with the company multiple times. They're very happy with the customer service, the, the ease of ordering and processing and it's just a great partnership that we anticipate moving into the future. We're evolving. We're doing things that a lot of agencies aren't doing. Though the concept of a UAS program is not new to the fire service, not everybody's adopted it. There's a lot of resistance to doing so. Don't recreate the wheel. There's a lot of successful programs out there. There's a process to go through. So get the guidance of established programs, figure out what best meets your needs and replicate that for success.